Question number 16 says that consider the following statements. Statement A says that the average velocity of the particle may be zero even if its average speed is non-zero. B statement says instantaneous velocity of the particle may be non-zero if its instantaneous speed is zero. The correct statements among the above statements is R. Now dear students, let us analyze each statement separately and let us analyze the statement A first. It says that the average velocity of the particle may be zero if its average speed is non-zero. This statement is correct. Dear students, since the displacement of the particle can be zero even when its distance traveled is non-zero, the average velocity of the particle may be zero even if its average speed is non-zero. This is because the average velocity is displacement by time and average speed is distance by time. Let us take an example particle moving in a circle. When the particle reaches its starting point again, its displacement and average velocity become zero, whereas its average speed and the distance traveled is non-zero. Let us analyze statement B. The statement B says that instantaneous velocity of the particle may be non-zero even if its instantaneous speed is zero. Dear students, instantaneous speed is the magnitude of instantaneous velocity. And if the instantaneous velocity is non-zero, which means that its magnitude is non-zero, it simply means that the instantaneous speed is non-zero. Therefore, option B is incorrect. The only correct statement is statement A. And hence the option which is correct for this particular question is option number 1. Now dear students, let us proceed to the question number 17. Question number 17 says, a particle is thrown with a velocity of u meter per second. It passes through points a and b as shown in the figure at time t1 is equal to 3 seconds and t2 is equal to 5 seconds. The value of u is, it is given that g is equal to 10 meter per second square and a and b are at same height. Now dear students, if in a projectile a particle is at point a at time t1 and at point b at a time t2, the time of flight can be written to be equal to t1 plus t2. Here t1 has been given to be equal to 3 seconds and t2 has been given to be equal to 5 seconds which means that capital T that is the time of flight is equal to 3 plus 5 that is 8 seconds. Now dear students time of flight can be calculated using the formula 2u sin theta by g where theta is the angle of projection u is the speed of projection. A time has been calculated to be equal to 8. Let us substitute the given values. That is 2u sin 30 by 10, which means that u is equal to 8 into 10, which will be equal to 80 meters per second. And hence, dear students, the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Now, let us proceed to the question number 18. Question number 18 says, Rain is falling vertically downwards. For a man walking at a speed 6 meter per second on ground, the rain appears to fall at an angle 45 degree with the vertical towards the man. The speed of the rain with respect to ground is. Now dear students, as per the question, the rain is actually falling vertically downward. Let us assume that the velocity or the speed of the rain is V. There is a man who is moving on the ground with a speed of 6 meters per second and he observes that the rain is falling towards him at an angle of 45 degree with the vertical. Let us write down and draw the velocity of rain with respect to man. This can be drawn by a vector diagram that there is a velocity of rain v and we can add a negative of the velocity of man in the opposite direction that is 6 meter per second. This will be the velocity of the rain with respect to man. It is given that this vector is inclined at an angle of 45 degree with the vertical. As per this simple geometry, we can write that tan 45 would be equal to 6 by v, which means that v is equal to 6 meters per second. And hence, dear students, the correct answer for this question should be option number 4. Now, dear students, let us proceed to question number 19. Question number 19 says, if A is equal to 4i cap minus 2j cap plus 6k cap and B is equal to minus 2i cap minus 6k cap, the angle made by A plus B with positive y axis is. Now dear students, let us first try to find out the value of A vector plus 
b vector it will be equal to 4i cap minus 2j cap plus 6k cap minus 2j cap minus 6k cap this will be equal to 4i cap minus 4j cap dear students let us try to draw the vector diagram for this vector this particular expression tells us that the vector a plus b has a component of 4 along x axis and a component of 4 along minus y axis the angle made by the vector can be easily calculated we have to find out the angle made by the vector with the positive y axis that is this angle phi dear students let this angle be theta we can write that tan theta to be equal to 4 by 4 that is 1 which means that theta is equal to 45 degree now as per the given diagram we can also write that phi is equal to 90 degree plus theta that will be 90 plus 45 or 135 degrees and as dear students the correct answer for this question should be option number 3 now dear students let us proceed to the question number 20 Question number 20 says, during the festival of Holi, Ram throws a water balloon from ground so as to hit Sham. Sham is standing on top of a building of height 10 meters. If the building is at a distance 20 meter away from Ram and he throws the balloon at an angle 45 degree with the horizontal, then the speed of projection required will be. Now dear students, this particular question requires the equation of the trajectory of a projectile to be solved. The equation of trajectory of a projectile can be written as y is equal to x tan theta minus half g x square divided by u square cos square theta. Here u is the speed of projection and theta is the angle of projection from the horizontal. We can further simplify this expression and write that y is equal to x tan theta minus half g x square sec square theta divided by u square because 1 by cos square theta is sec square theta and we can also substitute sec square theta by 1 plus tan square theta that is x tan theta minus half g x square by u square 1 plus tan square theta dear student this is an alternative form of the equation of trajectory in the question it is given that theta is equal to 45 degree, y is equal to 10, x is equal to 20 and g is equal to 10. We have to find out the value of u. Now let us substitute the given values in this expression. That is 10 is equal to 20 tan 45 minus 10 20 square by 2u square 1 plus tan square 45 that is 10 is equal to 20 minus 2000 by u square 1 plus 1 that is 2000 into 2 divided by 10 is equal to u square. Dear students, which means that u is equal to 20 meters per second. And hence the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2. Now let us proceed to the next question of the test, which is question number 21. 